before we get into it, I'm going to just let you hear from my guy, Sal. What is it you told us about the Odell Beckham's new team, the Baltimore Ravens? Well, I year? think Zay Flowers, the addition of the Boston College rookie Zay Flowers. He's got speed. He's got toughness. He's got great hands. He's a great route runner. The Ravens are raving about Zay Flowers so far in OTAs, and he's somebody that I am going to be watching in my tour of training camps. I want to see how he opens things up for Odell Beckham Jr. I agree with Dan. I think OBJ could have a massive year because Zay Flowers will run those nine routes, will open up the safeties, open up the middle of the field, and Mark Andrews and Todd Munkin and that offense all about speed and spacing and pacing. Get the ball out quickly. So what does it add up to for Baltimore? I think Baltimore has a shot to dethrone Kansas City as the AFC Super Bowl contender. You like that? Ain't no chance what I mean. You too team, keep it clean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it. Gotta made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and grave it. Right and grave it. So team, keep it clean. It don't get no better than that, right? It, it really doesn't, and I mean, I agree with him, man. We're going to break it down, but before we get into it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like on the video. You can follow on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Everything is engraving vids, but know that I appreciate y'all. The way that Sal Palantonio was giving a big shout out to the Ravens, that's what I want to give to y'all right now because I love y'all. So thank you all for so much. Get ready for a crazy season because it's going to be a wild ride. So again, subscribe so you can buckle up and get in the car with us. Anyway. Team keep it clean, Sal Pal Antonio. He was he had some high praise for rookie wide receiver Zay Flowers. And he talked about how the Ravens have been raving about Zay Flowers. I like that little boy, Sal. That was cool, man. But he just talked about everything that we have learned about Zay Flowers, about the speed, about the route running, about the playmaking ability. But one of my favorite things that he said about Zay Flowers is something that I've appreciated about my I've appreciated myself about Zay Flowers. Um, something that I've been thinking about too, and we've mentioned it quite a few times on here, what he can do for everybody else. Uh, Sal Palantonio, when he was giving his high praise to Zay Flowers, he talked about how Zay Flowers can help out Odell Beckham Jr. And he can help Odell Beckham Jr. have an even bigger year. I don't think he mentioned it, but we mentioned it on here plenty of times before, how Zay Flowers can help Rashad Bateman, how he can have, help him have a big year. But then something else and somebody else who he mentioned, too, was Mark Andrews. He talked about Zay Flowers running the nine routes and really Zay Flowers just opening up the field for everybody else. And that's something that we've been wanting for the Ravens to do for a long time, just to open things up a lot, not just be so condensed like the offense has been, like the, the, the passing offense has been to where everybody and everything is all in this certain area. All, everybody's all in this certain box on the field. But this year, the Ravens will hopefully really use all of the field to their advantage because it's been times where it's felt like the Ravens are just they're almost limiting themselves. They're holding themselves back. They could be doing so much more. They could be attacking the field so much better. But it was like they were holding themselves back and they were restricting themselves. But with the addition of Zay Flowers, with the addition of Odell Beckham Jr., with Rashad Bateman coming back, he, he, he didn't even mention Nelson Aguilar. He didn't mention the return of Devin DuVernay, but... One thing that's just as big as all those additions, something that may, I mean, I can't necessarily call it bigger, but it may even be, it's just as big as all those additions, is the addition of somebody who he did bring out, Todd Munkin. And we're excited to see what Todd Munkin does with this Baltimore Ravens offense. Um, because the players, the personnel are extremely important. Extremely important. I believe that with better personnel, it just makes things easier for everybody. But somebody who is just as important is a person who's calling the shots, in this case, calling the plays, that being the offensive coordinator. So with everything that we expect Todd Munkin to do, we got to see it first. But everything that we expect him to do, the Ravens should really be taking advantage of the entire field and using guys and making them weapons, using them to their ability putting them in positions for success. So that's something that we're looking for. But that wasn't it. That wasn't where Sal Palantonio stopped because he took it to another level. He spoke on uh, the Baltimore Ravens being a team that he feels could dethrone Patrick Mahomes and them Kansas City Chiefs. He feels like the Ravens could be the team to take out the Chiefs for the AFC Championship. 
And initially when you hear that, especially as a Raven fan, you may be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice. I like to hear that. But then, like, think about it. R really think about it. Seriously. Why not? The only thing, again, health, health. That's been the only thing, in my opinion, holding the rate. Well, there's been some other things too, but health has been the biggest thing holding the Ravens back for a long time, especially the past couple of years. It's been health. Somebody mentioned uh, on Twitter today. Well, when you've seen this video, it will have been a day or two, whatnot. But um, somebody mentioned on Twitter today that uh, it's it's weird. They feel kind of weird because this is the farthest uh, into. A Ravens offseason that we've gotten in a little while without hearing about some significant injury. And I thought about that. I was like, mm. um, wow. Is that the case? It could be. But again, we still have training camp and hopefully nothing goes down in training camp. But nobody goes down in training camp because we just want a healthy squad, man. And and again, I know for us as fans, when we speak on a healthy squad, we a lot of times we speak on our own personal interests, our own personal fandom and whatnot. Like we want to see our team at its healthiest so they can compete, so we can see our team be fighting for a Super Bowl. But then it goes beyond that, too. You got to think about these players as well. Think about how that affects them personally when they get hurt. Think about how it impacts them financially when they get hurt. So just as much as we want to see it for us, we should want to see it for them as well. And obviously, not only the Baltimore Ravens, just the entire NFL. And I know it's impossible because it's an extremely physical sport. But I, I would just love to see a completely healthy season from everybody. Um, but back to what we were talking about, I do think that injuries is the biggest thing that's been holding this team back. But then if you go back, because the Chiefs, amazing team, they are a dynasty. I keep calling them the, the, the Golden State Warriors of the NFL because they just do nothing but win. Um, but if you go back a couple of years ago, the Chiefs, they came into Baltimore. Um, they had their guys, Tyreek Hill, Travis Kelsey, uh, Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid. Like, they had their guys. Um, and the Ravens, they were decimated. They had lost a lot of people even before the season started. And I think that game was just in week two or three. So it was early in the season. But Ravens had lost a lot. Ravens beat the Chiefs. They beat him. They beat him. And that was probably one of my favorite games from the Lamar Jackson era of these Baltimore Ravens. The, but the, and the, it, took, it took extra. For, it took literally everything for the Ravens to beat those Chiefs. Uh, Lamar Jackson had thrown two interceptions. Even though one of them was Sammy Watkins' fault when he slipped. The other one was just a terrible Lamar Jackson pass where he threw to Hollywood in triple coverage. It was just a terrible decision on his part. Uh, but they overcame two interceptions. They overcame being down. It, it's just, and they, they overcame the Chiefs. De and they were decimated. With in That's what they really overcame, injuries. And so many of them so early in the season. So when you hear Sal Palantonio talk about that he feels like the Ravens could dethrone the Chiefs, that they could take out the Chiefs for the AFC Championship and be AFC champs this coming season, why not? If they're healthy, why not? Because I feel like what we expect from the Baltimore Ravens in their offense this season, it should be better than it has been in the year past, in years past, excuse me. It should open up the field a lot more than it has in the years past. It should use guys a lot more and a lot better than it has in the years past. Again, Top Monken still got to prove it because we could expect this, that, and a third, but it still has to be proven. But why not? Why not? Because, again, the Ravens, they, they shown it with Lamar Jackson. He suited up. I keep saying that they can rock with anybody. Anybody. And I've said countless times this offseason, the way that the Ravens have moved this offseason, I really do think they could make some noise. Like, not even just make some noise. Cause anybody can make some noise. But I do think they could be legitimate Super Bowl contenders. Not legitimate playoff contenders. Not legitimately in the playoffs, but Super Bowl contenders with the way that they've moved this offseason. Because we've seen the teams that they've presented in previous years. And the rosters, some of the rosters have been nice. Some of them have been, eh, all right, they could use a lot more work. But they've still competed. And they've still been in the thick of things. But then health took them out. So with the roster that they have now, especially on offense, especially how deep it is in a lot of different positions, why not? Yeah, this feels like a dream.
Legend Graven.